These are the knives that were used for 160 pound tuna cutting show. Sakai Takayuki, House 8 Deva, and Tenmi Jurak brand produced by Hiromoto. Ginsan 270mm Gyuto. I did bring this Globo but didn't use it. So put this on the side. So let's quickly see how much damage did they take by cutting that big tuna. Start with Hiromoto. Then Sakai Takayuki, Odeba. Not bad. So, as you can see, okay, now this one is good, no need to sharpen. Next. Global. No need to sharpen. This is why steel type doesn't matter. And Sakai Takayuki Deva. Yeah, this is, you know, for Deva, this is extremely good. Cutting performance wise, they are both pretty much perfect. No damage at all. I wasn't so much worried about this Takai Takayuki Deba. I have done a lot of hard work with this guy. But I was a little bit worried about this because of the thin blade thickness. This isn't as flexy as you might think. It's pretty stiff, actually. But still, you never know until you actually use it. But it did good job. Really good job. If you watch my previous video, which I uploaded just yesterday, you can see how well this worked. I actually did bring a touch-up kit. I will make a separate video about my loadout for big catering party, like 300 plus people. What do I pack and what do I leave behind? Oh, by the way, this is triple O design, fast pack, light speed. I believe this is discontinued. Yeah, it may be way too tactical for some of you, but I like it. So I actually carried these knives 
inside it, they fit. This is a small pack though. I hate huge backpack. So this is how I carry touch-up kit for an event like this. You have no time for sharpening stone, no. I ended up working from 11 a.m. to almost 11 p.m. I came back home around 12.30. Just a regular towel. Leather strop in Ziploc. Sharpie and automate edge honing rod. That's it. I will make a separate video about this one, probably. Besides these two knives, there was actually one more knife that was used on stage. My Sebenza, large Sebenza 31. This was used to open the box, the big box that contained that bluefin tuna. We were all already up on the stage. The show hadn't started yet, but they were already sitting and watching us. Including myself, there were eight guys on the stage, and no one, literally no one had any braid on them. I was the only one in my right pants pocket pretty much all the time, except for when I am sleeping and when I have to go to a federal government building. Um, anyway, so I opened up the braid, cut open those plastic nylon packaging tape and cut open the taped up portion of the box, picked up the tuna. So always, always be prepared. And I guess that's all for this video. And I will make, like I said, I will make uh, my big catering load out. What knives to bring and what not to bring. That's actually more important. You know, you typically don't have time to sharpen your knife. That means you probably need one backup, but no more than one. You don't have time to play around with too many knives. And if it was a show, like this tuna cutting, you really don't have time to do anything. The best you can do is, for example, if the knife chips, then yes, you need to switch it. So you probably need one backup, but that's pretty much it. And anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.